Hello ladies and gentlemen and today we are going to work on our Habitat for Humanity house and uh, what we're going to do is we'll make a couple of quick changes and then do some cabinet work and some furniture inside this uh, inside this house. So we just did the uh, foundations and we found out that our four foot crawl space um, isn't actually deep enough for the frost depth that uh, for the house we're putting this in or location we're putting this in. So in order to fix that, um, this is what we have to do. So I'm gonna to go to my 3D view. Um, I'll turn off my section box here. Yours might be on. Uh, we're gonna to need to do is bring this wall down. Now normally you would be able to do it and drag it down, but what ends up happening is the offset of that stacked wall somehow gets messed up. I'm not sure exactly sure how. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to delete those walls. I'll actually leave the crawl space for now. There we go. Let's go to the other side, delete that, so it's gone. Then I'm gonna to go to my elevation view. And here you're gonna have an option. You can either go to just a six foot crawl space or an eight foot if you wanna have a basement. I'm just gonna to go to six foot. I'm gonna save on uh, some material. So we'll go six foot, enter. So now that brings it down. Notice it also brings down that floor, that slab that we'd place there. I'm then gonna to go to my crawl space floor plan. And then I'm gonna to go to architecture, wall. So I got my stacked wall. I'm going to do a core center line that seemed to have worked for me. I'm going to make the box around it. Oops. Let me go back. I think I didn't snap to the right spot. Let's just try again. Come on. Doesn't want to seem to. There we go. Snaps. Good. Let's take a look at it now in 3D view. All right, so there it is. Now what I need to do is I also need to see if my sill plate, so if I zoom in, I can actually see the sill plate up on top. It's in the wrong spot. No big deal. I'm going to go to crawl space, click, and I'm just going to swap those hours around like that. Let's take a look at 3D view. There it is, sill plates on the outside. And then I just need to add in the footing along the outside. So structure, we have our um, footings right here, our foundation. So structural foundation, click that. This is the wall bearing. Now it's 36 by 12. We did edit the type of this last time. So yep, 16 inches wide, one foot tall. And we can just basically click them right back in. Let's see if this, let's turn the house around. And that is how we fix it. So now our uh, foundation will sit below frost line, or frost step, sorry. All right, so now let's do some furniture inside. Okay, cancel that, architecture. Uh, I'm gonna bring in my section box just so we can see a couple different views of how it's gonna look. Okay, so from the top view here, I'll actually go to my ground floor plan. So you can see on my ground floor plan, we'll do uh, one of the bathrooms right here. I'm just gonna show you how this goes in. I'll show you how the cabinets and everything else as well with that. So you have a better idea of what's going on. So I need to place on top of my floor, I'm gonna have the toilet, tub, and also the sink and vanity, or vanity and sink. Go to architecture, and in here I'm gonna to go to component, load family. In that US Imperial folder, we can find uh, in plumbing, architectural fixtures, and in water closets, we can find a toilet. So what we wanna do is pick these like 3D ones. Sometimes you'll see something in 2D. Uh, that is for detail views. So we wanna pick anything that has 3D. Click that, open. All right, and if you hit the space bar, that will actually rotate it around. Space bar, okay. And then what we're going to do, so I'm not going to uh, dimension that until I have to. We'll bring the tub in, component, load family. Same thing, plumbing, architectural fixtures, 
And then we also see here bathtubs. This one right here, what that shows is going onto an exterior wall. Hit open. Okay, so now I want it like this. All right, so now we have that. So what I want to do is make sure that this is up against the wall. As you can see, I can bring it in or out. Okay, so it's on the exterior wall. What I want to make sure is that it's right on there. And what we can do is go into our dimensions, click this here, and I'm going to use the align tool. So I click the exterior wall and that, and then I can lock it right into place. If you want at this point, we can move the toilet over using the keys by selecting on it. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to put a small closet in there. I'm not worried about now. And then we'll put my vanity in as well. Architecture. Component. Load family. Now, counter works. Uh, counter, sorry, counter tops and any sort of cabinets are in casework. So we go to casework. Base cabinets. Now, they do have vanity cabinets. So I'm just going to do a single door vanity. Or actually, I'll do one with uh, door and drawer. I'll hit open okay and same with this so you can see i'm a little tight for space in this area but i can adjust that so i'm going to bring it in cancel escape a couple of times just going to move this away so i have something easy to work with and what i want to do is i'm going to go to my 3d view and i want to look into that so I'm going to bring my section box down a little bit. And look in the bathroom. Now, if you'll notice, this is actually, let's get rotated. Okay, so it's not rotating in the correct way. All right, so what we're going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to rotate this directly because you can see the doors on it are over here. So I'm going to go back to my ground floor view. And you can see this is where my doors are. I can go click up here. And if I hold down shift, let's see if that works. It doesn't. Okay. There we go. Now I have it. It's a little angled off, but that's fine. I'm actually going to go into click on it and I will align it with the back wall. So now it's aligned. I'll lock it into place as well. I can change the size of my cabinets. So here's a 24 inch. If I want, I'm gonna to go to a smaller, maybe 15 inch or let's try 18 inch. That looks fine. And then what I can do is I can measure off of the center line to the toilet to here to see if I have my 18 inches. So I only have one foot that way. So if I click, click on that dimension, I can go 18 inches. So it brings it over there. And then I'm gonna lock this up against the wall as well. So I'll line, finish face that. So now it opens that way. And let's delete this so I don't have to see it. So that's technically where the toilet's gonna to be. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and put mine dead center. Just for the sakes of this, I would actually have to make this bathroom a little bit wider, but I'm not going to do that at this point. And now I'm going to go into architecture component. Let's put a uh, sink up on top. Load family. And we'll go to casework, countertops. So vanity, I can do vanity with a uh, round sinkhole. So I'm going to do that, open. Rotate this so you can see now this is huge, pretty big. And what we're going to have to do is find a way to uh, make this smaller. So just to make it easier to see, I'm just going to put it right here. Click on it. And you can see the length right now is pretty long. It's um, four feet. And our countertop here is only going to be 18 inches. And... When we do that, you can see how it changes the size of it. 
The problem is, is that this sink probably will not fit in there. So what we'll do is we'll just delete this and see what else we have. Component, load family, casework, countertops. So all of these are gonna be probably about the same thing because if we click on this one, square hole, round hole in that one. Uh, so what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to find a different option for here. Or for all intents and purposes, I can take this toilet out just to show you how it works anyway, which is uh, what my plans are for this. So just to show you how the, the vanity works, click here. I'm going to go to 24 inches. And I will unlock all this. So that's a 24 inch uh, vanity cabinet, single drawer door. Component, load family. I shouldn't need to do this again. I see it's already there. Good. And I will set the space bar. And so that sink is, that's kind of where I want it. Okay. So now what I need to do is I need to size this correctly. So my base cabinet. Let's click on the thing. Let's just drag this off. Base cabinet's 24 inches. I'm gonna to go to 24 inches with this. Two feet. Tab, sink location, that'll be one foot. Sink opening, all these. Let's see what happens. See there, now we have it the right size. Drag it over. And I'm not gonna lock things in yet. So what I want is that back edge of this to line up with the wall. So I'm gonna to go to a line, so click on it, align that with that so now that drags it over let's lock that and if we go back to our 3d view there it is next part let's put a sink in go to the ground floor floor plan architecture um, load family let's go to component casework again and sorry not casework we're actually going to go to plumbing so us imperial plumbing, architectural, fixtures, find my sinks. So I have vanity sink. We have a round vanity sink that I'm looking for. There it is, open. And it is the wrong way. So this is saying that's in the midpoint. So if I click, let's take a look at the 3D view. And the sink is a little bit off. All right, so that actually might have lined it up pretty good. Let's look from the top. There we go. Uh, you can actually use the align tool for this as well. There we go. So that's the sink inside the actual vanity. And that is pretty much how you're gonna do most of the cabinets. Now this is vanity, so it actually has a different height than what you would see for a kitchen. Okay, so what we'll do is, is uh, you'll work in, you'll place your toilets in, any bathroom vanity sinks, tubs, and any of that, and I will come back and we'll do a whole video on just kitchen cabinets. Hope you enjoyed it, take care, bye.